oral frostbite from laughing gas? Yeah, let's talk about the dangers of recreational nitrous oxide use also known as whippets or laughing gas. A recent case published in the New England Journal of Medicine described a 23-year-old man who sought medical attention after two days of painful swallowing and hoarseness. The symptoms followed his inhalation of nitrous oxide from a handheld canister. An examination revealed redness, swelling, and damage to the mucosa on the soft palate, uvula, and posterior oropharynx, as well as a small area of ulceration and swelling on the right vocal fold, according to authors Drs. Michael Patrizio and Meredith Hayden of the University of Virginia. Nitrous oxide is used as a propellant in aerosol cans, like those for whipped cream, and also serves as an anesthetic in dental and medical settings. So why are people using it recreationally? Nitrous oxide affects the same receptors that regulate mood, particularly anxiety, as well as some opioid receptors. Other than pain relieving and anxiety lifting effects, the substance can, quote, also lead to some of the psychogenic effects like hallucinations, Patrizio explained. It's also easy to get, legal, widely available online and in stores, and now even sold in flavored varieties. With recreational use of nitrous oxide on the rise, the FDA issued an alert advising consumers not to inhale such products. Patrizio said more public health efforts are needed to, quote, limit the accessibility of this product, similar to the way that Juul and vape pens have been regulated in recent years.